Divine Masculine and welcome to your Power Message for Thursday. Now I'm really excited today because I'm going to bring in one of my favourite tarot decks for you of all time, the Tarot of the Celtic Fairies. I'm also going to bring in the Oracle of the Angels to bring in a message because I feel a lot of strength around you today. I'm feeling Archangel Michael with you, you know, giving you the strength to make choices, to make hard decisions and to make change. And they are giving me physically... They're giving me achy feelings. So you may be feeling a bit achy today, you know, especially in the, the shoulder again. You know, the shoulders are connected with burdens. If you've got twitches or you've got itching, you know, it's about changes you're making. You know, in the throat as well, the throat chakra. But they're also giving me a feeling of the ears are, are being twinged a little bit. So it's a bit like pinching. If you feel your ears are pinching, it's because the angels are asking you to listen. And they give me fear. You know, a little bit of fear being released. Listen to the messages coming to you. A lot of fear there. So I feel you're releasing fears around listening to what you need to do. And also listening to your divine feminine. You want to hear them out. And, you know, you're a little bit afraid because you don't know what they're going to say. You know, there's that fear around rejection or if they are going to bring up the past or... You know, and you feel guilty enough as it is about the things you've done before. You have to forgive yourself for that. Don't be afraid to face your feminine because your feminine wants to embrace you with love. So what do you need to know today? Thank you, angels. What's the energy around the divine masculine today? What do you need to be aware of today? What are you going through? Yeah, they're giving me as well. They've given me now tension in the head, especially the third eye area, the eyes. It's more like an ache. You know, and you look what's on the bottom of the deck here. You know, this is about you wanting to come forward no matter what the consequences. You know, this is the King of Cauldrons and, you know, he's a very open, loving person. But he also knows that he perhaps shouldn't be giving that fairy this milk. You know, he, he wants to provide. So this is also about you doing things the right way. Okay, and it's the love, you know, the love that you feel for your family. You're gaining power back right now. So let's see what you need to know. So the first one we've got is fulfillment. So you know that your feminine gives you fulfillment. And you know that the road to fulfillment has been offered to you in a physical way. You know, to follow your own cup, you know, fill up your own cup, to follow your own truth, to move forward. The doors are open. And that's what this is. You know, the doors are open to a new beginning for you. And you know that your feminine is the one guiding you. And this is really powerful because in the feminine reading today... The feminine is facing towards the light. And that's what I'm seeing here. You know, because your feminine faces towards the light, this helps you to do the same. And we've got the three of cauldrons, which is a powerful energy of reunion. And, you know, yesterday the message came up that you want to rekindle the connection and, you know, reunite and sort things out. And this is about you planning how you're going to do that. So the way is being made. And I'm seeing this as an event. There may be an event coming up where you guys can meet or you want to plan an event or you want to come up with some form of compromise of how you can be together. So I'm seeing this as you trying to find a way back in. Okay, and Not that you need to find a way back in, but I know you feel that way, that you can't just, you know, turn up without a reason. You know, and the reason may be an apology, maybe that you want to talk or, you know, you want to tell them some good news or you want to, you know, tell them something about the past or you want to talk about the future. But this is definitely about you wanting to move forward in a powerful new way. And, you know, the energy as well here, what we've got is the, the grape energy. It's about maybe doing this in a way where you have access to alcohol or food or you know so in other words you may take them out somewhere or you may want to meet up for coffee or you may want to go for a drink so an environment that's very neutral or you know very peaceful or relaxing that's what I'm picking up here that you want to bring that type of energy in and we've got receptivity so you know you're also saying to your feminine I'm ready to receive your love I am open now to receive these blessings I'm open to give to you everything that you give to me. And also, you know, the power of the love that you're getting stronger. So I'm feeling this as your strength and your power. 
and your feminine gives you that. But this is also the way that, you know, you get turned on. You're turned on to this connection right now. You're turned on to this person right now. You know, you're feeling the power of the love and you want to also do it your way. So you know that you need to do it the right way. So even though you want to maybe have a drink, you know, I really what I'm feeling here as well is for some of you masculines, you may drink too much alcohol. You may use it to numb, numb things or, you know, to feel better or to take away stress when really that it just heightens that. So I feel a lot of you want to release that. You know, you want to give up alcohol or addictions or anything that doesn't serve you. You know, you want to let that go and begin again. And you're being shown the signs to do that. So as much as you may need a little bit of what they call Dutch courage, which is what they say when you need something, some form of strength given to you so that you can actually say what you mean or speak your truth, you know that you don't actually need to have that drink at all. You just need to get off your chest what's on your mind. So I definitely feel there's all this these things whirring around because you also know that if you're in a situation where you and your feminine are in the same room, you know you're going to want to make love to them because I'm seeing this as, you know, the way you get turned on and the way that you kind of stand to attention physically when you're around your feminine. So you may also be thinking about going to a restaurant or going somewhere where there are people around. So you have to sit down and talk. So the passion doesn't kind of come in first, you know, and then there may be guilt feelings coming up or pressure or, you know, not necessarily awkwardness, but you may not know how to say what you wanted to say because the, the, the passion, you know, the intensity... And I feel that there's so much going on in your mind today. You know, when I'm connecting with you today, even though you may be having some physical symptoms, it's more in the mind because there's all these different ways you could go about this. And you're thinking of each one. You're thinking about, well, what if I do it where we go to a restaurant? What if I do it where we go to a bar? Or what if we're at home with a bottle of wine? Or, and then I don't really want to have a drink. I want to be sober. I want to do it this way, this way, this way. So there's all these ways that you're planning how you can actually reconnect with your feminine in a powerful way. And, you know, the tower is also the chaos. You know, the things are happening quickly. There's changes. And the, everything that's been happening, you've been gathering information about. And, you know, you want to help. You want to help the connection now. You don't want to get in the way of it. You want to help. You know, you want your feminine to know that you want to put effort in. You know, in this card here, what this fairy is doing is kind of trying to you know move this stone and this guy comes to help you know to help so it's about the masculine saying I want to help I want to put the effort in I don't want you to do all of the work it may seem like that at times but that's not true so I feel this is about compromise coming together to help you know not only to help the world but to help each other out to be there for each other this is your masculine saying all the times when I've hurt you because I haven't been there for you when you've needed me, whether that's for your help or advice or just to feel heard. I want to make up for that right now. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't there for events, events like Christmas time, New Year, Thanksgiving, parties, anniversaries, birthdays. I'm sorry I wasn't there. I want to make up for it. And I feel you're also expressing that you know, maybe during those times, you couldn't be there because you're in your own pain. So you may have been drinking alcohol, you may have been socialising, you know, you may have been doing things to try and forget that you had to face this truth. You know, you were doing things to push down your feelings. So I feel there's also an apology there today. And this could be the apology about Valentine's Day, okay, because if they weren't around you, Maybe they seem to be busy with other people or having a drink or whatever they were doing. You know, whatever the chaos, it feels like there's been some kind of shock to the system, whether it's been the masculine themselves or the feminine. There's been something that's happened here that may have created a shock to the system. And, you know, I'm also feeling things like physical things because whenever we go through something in the physical self, you know, it makes us think. 
you know, this could be a health scare, it could be something else, something happens, like we lose someone we love, and it makes us think about the future, you know, things that happen that bring in shock, so I feel that there's a masculine watching here, you may have been through a big shock, so it's either something that's happened within yourself, physically, or you may have lost someone you love, and maybe you've been drinking to try and deal with that too, but you don't want to do that anymore, maybe this has made you quit drinking or quit an addiction feels like this, this is also what's going on so i'm picking up a lot in this reading today so the first thing is masculines you know your feminine is your fulfillment and you want to be open and receptive to the, receiving this fulfillment you're thinking about how you can move this forward you know what type of environment you can spend some time with your twin in and you know that you want to give no matter what the consequences, you know that you want to try, no matter what's happened before, you know you want to express your feelings, even if you were still in a situation that you know you need to release yourself from, but the passion is so intense, and the, you know, the, the, the passion, the power, the feelings, the chemical reaction, the physical sensations, sometimes it's hard for you to express or be intimate, or be around in an intimate environment, because I feel you're afraid of the passion taking hold before you can get out what you want to say. So in other words, because the masculines are confused, so I'm picking up on their confusion. This is everything in their mind. So for example, if you're masculine, if you're a feminine watching, and your masculine reaches out to you and says, I want to meet up, and you say, do you want to come around my house? And he says, no. It's not because he doesn't want to be intimate at your house. It's because he wants to be in an environment where he knows he's not going to be able to jump your bones straight away because he has things to say, okay? So he feels if he takes you out somewhere, then he's not going to be able to do that. Now, some of the masculines won't want to take you out because they're afraid of being seen if they're in a karmic relationship. There's fear there. And that's not because they don't want to be seen with you. They're not embarrassed about you or anything like that. They're embarrassed about themselves because they are still needing to release, you know, something. So read this how it resonates with your personal situation. But I also feel there could be some masculines who've just had a big shock. And that could be a shock to the system. So it could be connected with physical stuff. Or they've lost someone. And it's made them realise they're wasting time. And they want to help now. They don't want to, you know be a problem anymore to you or cause problems they want to be part of the solution they want to help they want to move this block out of the way you know this boulder is like the block they want to remove the obstacle and you have to work together because you both have lessons to learn and you both have work to do it's not like the masculine needs to do all the work you know because you can never do it by yourself it's a journey of twin flames it's a double journey it's, it's a joint thing so you have to learn but the masculines don't want to drink alcohol anymore it's just to find the courage to connect with you or they want to release the toxic things they want to be free of those things they want to be open and receptive now to all the blessings of life so they can feel fulfilled in every way and so they don't have to do it all behind closed doors or in fear of someone finding out they want to be in the open so masculines, you know what you need to do. It's about you taking control and reaching out and being open to and receptive to, you know, this love and the way it makes you feel because it fulfills you. Don't be afraid to feel it and experience it in a powerful way, no matter how turned on you get. You know, I feel at times, you know, your feminine just rises everything up in you. And sometimes it can be a bit hard to take. So breathe today, relax. If there's an opportunity to help, maybe this is also about helping others around you today. It's time to get involved instead of sitting on the sidelines and hiding away. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.